The following video clip is a selection from the DVD, What Babies Can Do, an activity-based guide to infant development. This chapter shows the first of eight activities. In this clip, you will see how to test and track the development of a newborn baby's ability to follow things with his or her eyes. As with all of the activities in the What Babies Can Do DVD, step-by-step -step instructions are shown along with videos of what to expect from children at different ages. Please note that the video and audio quality are much higher on the DVD itself than in this online video clip. For more information, contact us at vishton at powerbabies.com or visit our website www.powerbabies.com In this activity, you can see how babies develop the ability to follow things with their eyes. All you need is a comfortable infant seat and a colorful toy that you can gently shake and move from side to side. Before we consider how babies move their eyes, let's discuss two different ways that adults move theirs. We make saccadic eye movements as we scan the environment around us. The eyes make abrupt jumps, called saccades, that last a few milliseconds apiece. In between the jumps, our eyes remain relatively still. We make smooth tracking movements when we follow a target with our eyes. Notice that the eyes move smoothly from place to place without making abrupt jumps. We can only do this when there is a directly visible target moving in front of us. Infants are born with the ability to make the jumpy, saccadic eye movements. Smooth tracking, however, only seems to show up around seven weeks of age. By watching your child carefully, you can see this ability emerge. It's important to note that young babies are usually only awake, calm, and alert for a few hours per day. For all of the activities presented in this video, we have selected clips in which the infant actually performed the task except for this one. Don't get frustrated if your child doesn't accomplish some of these tasks the first time you try. It may be that your baby is just drowsy or hungry. The best strategy is to wait and try again later. At one week of age, this little girl is able to follow a toy as it moves to her left, center, and right. As she does so, you can see her saccadic eye movements. In this clip, taken a few days later, the saccadic jumps are very clear, especially when we slow down the video. Notice how she looks at the toy but doesn't immediately follow it when it moves to her left. When she does, her eyes make discrete jumps. Here. Here. And again here. A week later, we can still see the saccadic eye movements, but the jumps are smaller and faster. Research has shown that the movements are also more accurate and more able to anticipate the motion of an object rather than just reacting to it. As your baby's neck muscles get stronger, you will notice that the object can be followed across a greater range of motion. As the arms get stronger, you may notice the beginnings of reaching movements. More on that in Activity 4. Your baby will also get better at seeing the object from further away, even as far away as the feet. A close-up of this five-week-old shows the eye movements well. They are rapid and accurate, but still no smooth tracking. The brain systems responsible for this are not yet fully functional. Around two months of age, we get our first glimpses of smooth tracking. It's easiest to see if you use a small toy and stop shaking it once you have the child's attention.
Notice how the eyes move to follow without lagging behind the target. Notice also that the abrupt jumps in eye position are almost completely absent. Even at this age, however, most eye movements are still saccadic in nature. Beyond three months of age, a more adult-like pattern of tracking begins to emerge. The infant makes many saccadic eye movements, but with smooth tracking mixed in as well. Smooth tracking improves gradually, until as late as two years of age, but most of the development is finished by eight months. This activity will become frustrating for most children as they get more and more interested in grabbing and chewing on targets rather than just watching them. As long as you eventually let the child have the toy, however, my experience suggests that all will be forgiven.